Well, New Zealand, we did it. We have officially defeated COVID-19. There are zero cases left in the country. That is nada, nilch, nothing. How did we do it? Well, there were some very early social distancing guidelines, very strict border regulations, and of course, excess testing never hurts. Let's compare New Zealand's response with the Western world. And by that I mean mostly white countries that have a moderate grasp of the English language. 23 Jan, the city of Wuhan goes into lockdown. Most people feel this is a strange move. Don't 11 million people live there? Well, after seven days of investigating, the World Health Organization confirms yes, 11 million people do live there, and no, this isn't something they regularly do. A global health emergency is therefore declared. New Zealand says, yeah, nah, that doesn't really sound very good. Uh, China, why don't you just stay home? I know you're planning on having a holiday here where you pay $80 to get a picture of some hobbit grass, but just stay home and watch the trilogy again. I mean, if you get bored, you can go build a hospital or something. It was a nice plan that worked for a little bit until a traveler from Iran brought New Zealand its first case on 28 Feb. Iran immediately goes on New Zealand's shit list, followed by South Korea and Italy. New Zealand is now making moves, which is seen as a somewhat precautious approach compared to some other countries around the world. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, you'll be pleased to know and, and I continue to shake hands. And 11th March, WHO says, yeah, actually this is, this is now a pandemic. This rightfully freaks New Zealand out and they start canceling events such as the Pacifica Festival and the Memorial for the Christchurch Mosque shooting. They now install a compulsory 14-day isolation period for all incoming travelers, which seems obvious now, but at the time it was actually among the most strict border regulations in the world. We must go hard and we must go early. We must do everything we can to protect the health of New Zealanders. Five days later, for the first time ever, New Zealand closed its borders to all foreign nationals. And I recognize how extraordinary it is but we have to make decisions in the best interest of the health of those who live here. Four days later, New Zealand breaks the 100 case barrier, including two from community transmission. New Zealand is now done playing around. There's a new super virus freely replicating amongst a heap of dirty, unhygienic flush machines, and it's time to shut her down. Level four lockdown initiated, as per the advice of the nation's scientists. This, uh, whatever they want to call it, you can call it a germ, you can call it a flu, you can call it a virus, you, know, you can call it many different names. I'm not sure anybody even knows what it is. By early April, cases peak. However, it turns out the science works because by the 15th of April, the rate has slowed down considerably, while the rest of the world reaches its two millionth case. At this point, basically everyone who wants a test can get one. Not so much because people are worried, it's that the science nerds running the country just want the data points. Like, they get off on epidemiological surveys. I mean, that's useful and stuff now, but what do these freaks do when there isn't a pandemic? Anyway, just over a month into lockdown, New Zealand relaxes to level three. Meaning you now have the option to wait hours in your car for your favorite version of deep fried bird carcass. May the 4th, New Zealand registers zero new cases for the first time, and then 10 days later, they move down to level two, meaning businesses can reopen as long as they follow the correct protocols. People, for instance, will be at the movies, but they'll all be spaced out. They'll be watching sports, but they will be spaced out. People might go to a show, but they will be spaced out. <laughs> Orgies are limited to 10 people. On 7th June, the final case of COVID-19 officially recovered, and after 17 days in a row without a new case, New Zealand reverts back to level one where all domestic restrictions are lifted. Rugby is back, concerts are a go, and all because of quick, decisive action. New Zealand listened to the science, knowing that early action was required to limit the spread of the virus. And what's most important, people actually listened. Google data has shown that New Zealand complied with their lockdown better than most everyone. The traffic to retail and recreational outlets was down 91%. So kudos to you, New Zealand. You deserve it. 
I know that there's going to be a long road ahead still, but I think we have shown that together we can make anything happen. Cheers. I think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus. I think that at some point uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope.